Dearest planters and friends, during this movement control period, there's something I'd like to share with you. Year 2020 apparently is a tough year to all of us due to the outbreak of coronavirus disease, COVID-19 pandemic. The virus has spread to almost every country. Up to now, there are more than 3.7 million confirmed cases worldwide, more than 250,000 deaths, and the number still increasing. More than 60 countries has declared a state of emergency over coronavirus. I believe the integrate with the wisdom and the determination of people around the world, we will be able to defeat this terrible virus. The source of the virus is unknown at this time. Alarming levels of spread and severity has caused massive loss of human life and economic crisis, resulting panic in society. Many countries have implemented strict lockdown and restricted movement measures to control the spread of virus. The reduction in traffic and industrial activities caused by COVID-19 bringing back the long lost blue skies and clear air. Some say that this is a punishment to humans for over exploitation of natural resources and damage of environment. Personally, I think it makes sense. As an agriculture practitioner, we have to reflect on our gains and losses in the process of agricultural production. It is obvious due to our long-term business activities and changing the farming practices have contributed to global climate and ecological changes. We pursue for high yields. However, it is an indisputable fact that excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides has caused ecological imbalance. The damages caused by the coronavirus to human beings alert us on the powerful abilities of microorganisms. And it makes me reflect upon the role of microorganisms in agricultural production. All this while, we have neglected the utilization of beneficial microorganisms which is lead to harmful microorganisms to grow vigorously and resulting an increase in pests and diseases in agriculture. At present in Malaysia and even in the world, almost every crop species has a disease problem that cannot be or difficult to overcome, such as a Ganoderma disease of oil palm, Fusarian wheat of banana, Taipei disease of papaya, phytotrop disease of durian, or any other virus disease of, of plants is extra. These diseases caused by bacteria, fungi, and virus make growers scratch their heads and beg for solution. Traditionally, we are relying on chemical treatment to control pests and disease. And when the disease cannot be restrained, we use more and stronger chemical to control. Consequently, the disease soon developed the resistance to chemical that applied and caused disease variation. End up helplessly. And if there's no cure for coronavirus, we should have a mindset where prevention is better than cure in order to ensure high agricultural productivity while minimizing the excessive use of chemical products to reduce the damage on natural and soil environment. Focus on soil conservation so as to reduce the occurrence of pests and diseases. We believe the soil is the foundation of survival, mother of agriculture. Healthy and fertile soil guarantee in producing high quality, high yield and efficient agricultural products. Good farming practices should be implemented by planters. Therefore, Reducing the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Increasing the application of organic matter and beneficial microorganisms are prerequisites for sustainable production. Many scientific research and practice have proved that additional of organic matter and beneficial microorganisms are not only improve soil structure and the crop productivity, but also increase soil nutrient availability 
by transforming unavailable nutrients into bioavailable forms for plant uptake. Simultaneously reduce and inhibiting the occurrence of pests and diseases. Some targeted beneficial microorganisms can effectively control diseases, avoid the aforementioned problems of developing resistance to pesticides and fungicides, at the same time able to reduce pollution in the environment. Ocosmos Biotech Corporation has focused on developing sustainable products for aquaculture where the technologies are based around the effective beneficial microorganisms. We have developed a variety of biochemical fertilizers and disease control microbial products and receive a lot of good feedbacks from market. We will, and as always, focus on R&D and innovations and continue to strive for healthy agricultural production.